I have over 20 audio files for a single recording. How do I make them all the same? Today's question is about getting consistent audio levels across several different recordings. Specifically, how to take 20 separate audio files and make them all sound the same. Let's back up for a second and mention that the best way to get your audio to sound the same is to record it all at once. That means record in the same room, at the same time, with the same microphone, at the same distance, with the same energy level. But maybe you have several days of recording, or you have multiple speakers, each using different microphones, and you want everything to be as close to the same as possible. First, Camtasia has a feature called Auto Normalize Loudness that came out in their 2019 version. This effect is automatically applied to new projects. There's nothing you have to do to enable this. You can find it by going to the Canvas Options dropdown and clicking Project Settings. I'm going to disable it so you can see the differences in my audio tracks. But Auto Normalize Loudness is only one part of the equation. The other part is Audio Compression. With audio compression, Camtasia makes the loudest parts a little quieter. Instead of these big differences between loud and quiet, Camtasia compresses the sound to be more consistent. Start by adding all your audio tracks to your project. It helps to keep them all on the same track. When it comes time to select them, you can right-click the track and choose Select All Media on Track, or you can just click and drag a selection rectangle around them. Next, go to the Audio Effects tool on the left and find the Audio Compression tool. Note that if you're using an older version of Camtasia, this tool might be called Volume Leveling. When you drag the effect to one clip, it applies the effect to all the selected clips. Notice how the waveforms changed on the timeline. The levels now look very similar. In the Properties panel on the right, we see some options. Volume Variation is a drop-down menu of pre-selected settings. You have High, Medium, Low, and custom. Notice that high makes the audio wave look almost flat, while low has a lot more variance in the audio. When you choose custom, there are three sliders available to you. Think of gain as the overall level or volume of the track. If you want it louder, turn up the gain. I put my gain around eight or nine. Think of threshold as a maximum loudness. A threshold of zero doesn't make anything quieter. I put my threshold around minus 10, so a signal above or louder than negative 10 decibels is dropped down to negative 10 decibels. And you can think of ratio as how much the loudness is compressed. For example, a ratio of one is no compression. A ratio of two makes all the loudness half of what it was originally. Three makes it a third. I set my ratio to five. I like those compression levels, but I'm not applying that much compression. To make your audio levels more consistent, you may want to raise your ratio and lower your threshold. To get the sound you want, try different settings and use over-the-ear headphones. Be sure to check out cammastery.com for more tips, resources, and training.